All right, welcome back to a new place, NBA 2K. Now let's go down and see what's happening in the local barber shop. Get all the latest gossip. See what's going now, on out I in the what community. The press says. I didn't authorize it, all right? All right, bye. Hey, DJ, what's up? What's going on, fellas? Got a chill waiting on you. Yo, DJ, could you tell Doc to stop talking to your fans on the internet? What do you mean? Well, last time you were here, the whole shop went viral. Oh, that's a good thing, right? That means more customers, baby. You think that, but they're just questions about you. Now we're tagged hmm. over social media, and somehow Doc is answering all the questions about you. Look, I have to. I'm old school, you know that. I treat customers like family. Right. Get out the chair. It's a star here. You don't see that? Yeah, if they were actual yeah I think I'm going to change my hairstyle, man. Let's do something else. Keep it fresh. I don't know what. I was asleep last night. Mm -hmm. Right. And the universe spoke to me. Okay. What they say? He said I should name a haircut after this young man well. right here. And it should be called. Called what? DJ Special. Oh, oh my God. Hallelujah. On, okay. Hallelujah to that. Oh, I like the ring of that. <laughs> hey, come on, Doc. Uh, Preach now. Come on now. Mm. And I can put turntables in the back of their heads and charge them three extra more dollars. Okay. As a matter of fact, hey, take a picture of us for the Grizzam. Okay. I got a fan page. Got a fan page. That's 86 great. followers. Got it. Pretty soon, huh, I'm gonna be at your level. I don't know about all that, Doc. You gonna be cutting my hair. Watch. <laughs> Created a monster, DJ. Put some powder on you right quick. Bam, bam, bam. Too bad you can't see it beforehand, you know. And let's uh, and we'll just go standard this, whatever this is. Let's go with it. Okay, and then what uh, hair color? We want to change our hair color? We want blue hair. Oh, that's locked. Can't do it. Can't do it. All right. I don't know what color that is. Yeah, let's not do the hair color. Facial hair, though. Hmm. Let's do it. See how it looks. I think this one will look great. You ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready for it. It's magic. Just like in uh, Grand Theft Auto. Man. <laughs> okay. You are a handsome oh, dog. Man. Look at Fans that. Fans are going to love this one, Ooh. man. You read my mind. Mm -hmm. I don't Showroom know about the black floor. beard, but. Showroom floor. Lady Drew, okay. Lady Doc, right, change the beard color. All right. Uh. Yeah, whatever. We'll go for it with that for now. All right, let's go ahead and get into a game. Dallas, go Dallas. Celtics got blown out last game, and in real life, the Celtics are 0 and 2 at the start of the new season. New black beard and everything. Bubba, why are you sweeping? Man, somebody knocked over my cup of sunflower seeds. It's taking forever for somebody to come over and clean them up. I guess we're going to have to do all the cleaning. <laughs> Ain't that right? Yeah, but there's nothing. Wait, are you making a metaphor? Yeah, too dramatic? Just a little bit. <laughs> Better than that, boo-boo. All right, let's do it. Let's clean some boards. Came here to clean up. Defense. Thank you, David. Yeah, defense. Early returns in the season so very, far. Uh, Some very, very uh, thoughtful. Already separating themselves as championship contenders. Uh, All right. Are we getting ahead of ourselves? Is it too At least, early for them to uh, start thinking McCauley about home court right now? You know, this is a fascinating thing in the NBA because right, there is some current analytics that suggest that home court advantage position. is not playing the part it once did in NBA success. Interesting. Yeah. All right, let's get in the game and see where we're at. Uh, up by three. 
And so here I'm is on Dallas. defense, and where's my guy? Right there. They put up a nice win against the Bucks the last time out. Right and, and guys, they just got so many good looks in that one, and the defense nope. never able to affect their offensive. That was my fault. My fault. The other team was just run down there, Scotty. No Don't worry about it. Put it. So many openings, and they made them pay for it. Morris outside. Down low. Oh, get in there. Come on. Have to go up stronger than that. Could be a simple layup if he shows a little more determination. Shut the hell up. And here's Barnes for three. Has an extreme oh, crap. Mm -hmm. that time. And that's how Let's go, Kyrie. Lead us. Tell me where you want me. Irving kicks to Wells. In the corner, it's Morris. There's a screen. Goes up on the wing. Count that one. Look at that. Morris has got his first beautiful hit. screen. Uh, gains separation by just working off the screen. Morris been around the block enough times to know all. Get the out of my zone. Back. My area. Smith get out. To Curry. Leads over Wells. Curry can't get it to go. Well, Shammy. Up and down quarter for him on the offensive end. Mostly down though. A shot's good from Irving. All right. And, and when Wells spots one of his guys wide open, doesn't hesitate at all just gets it over before the D can react Barnes outside Barnes sets a screen for Matthews no good there good work defensively by Morris well it was the Boston Celtics their last game a loss to Atlanta yeah we saw no matter what they tried offensively the that? opponent just had the answer well that was an absolute beatdown and you hope that they learn and move on from it a three from Barnes no. offensive rebound god dang it and the basket good by the oh. Measure he's got the game tied up here for the man. Let's go. I'll tell you, good things always come when you've got players who work hard. Get in the game. Get in the game. Here's the monster. Oh, in and out. Bad shot selection. Jesus Christ, I was two feet away from the freaking the goal, man. Come on. Now here's Curry coming off a stellar performance against Milwaukee. The ten footer. Rebound Boston. That's my boy. Right there we the go. Start, That's what I'm there for. Pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Come on, Hayward I gotta get out of here. Demoris. Here's the monster. The oh my miss. god. Gets it to very close range, but there was no way the defense gonna back off and oh for three. Oh for There's three. Screen. Probably should have passed. Open, he fired. Trains it from beyond the arc. And the Mavericks lead by Come on three. now, get, let's get in this. This guy's not the biggest, strongest screener in the world, but Barnes does a really good job of establishing and holding position. Hayward connects on the 17-footer. Hayward's got six points. And now you can see the D having problems stopping the mid-range jumper, just not really closing out as much as they need to. Hayward against Matthews. Curry on the wing. Misses the three. On a pretty good day for them so far. Good board, Shammy. Good board. Tough spots. Here's Wells. And the three for three. Is good. Wells has got his first three points of the game. I love watching Wells pull up from beyond the arc. A remarkable score when given room to shoot. Screen by Smith. And Matthews kicks to Barnes. Good work defensively by Morris. Boy, too much traffic in the lane. Very difficult finish with the defense draped all over him. Here's Irving. Here's the monster. He gets it in the Yes, game. finally get nice one in. Job here early of Offensive board for me. Inside presence. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Outside Matthews. Measury kicks to Barnes. Great assist by Curry as that one goes in. It. And 11 points for Harrison Barnes. Outside Irving over Smith. And there are the Celtics right. with another basket. What a silky jumper from Kyrie there in the face of some pretty staunch defense. Takes a lot of 
Yeah, the first quarter I had what two? One for four for Kyrie Irving. Irving. He has been the story for Boston. Missed three freaking layups. <sighs> Got some board action though. We caught up with Kyrie Irving earlier, and he talked a little bit about expectation. Oh, we expect so much. Yeah, we expect a lot from the Kyrie. Kyrie. Reminding us that it's not just the expectations of the fans and the media. All right, let's go. Also, perhaps the most demanding of all are the expectations they've got for each other. Well, oh yeah, they're constantly trying to manage expectations while still demanding the best from one another. And I got to tell you, it's fun to watch. And now the second quarter just getting set to start. When you consider how the Celtics are doing, oh. guys, what jumps out to you, stance one. Hustling on that offensive glass. That, that's led to a number of second chance points. Oh, come on. That was not a bad call for pass. Don't right even do that. It was just a bad pass. On the court for the Celtics, second quarter underway. Rogier's out there with Brown. And there's the monster. And it's Marcus Morris. And it's Tatum in at the three. But how about Salah Mejri, the first ever player from the NBA? That's all right. Got a good screen. Seven foot two shot blocker with extensive playing experience overseas. And speaking of Mejri's international experience, he was a 29 year old rookie in 2015. Right, Mejri is a guy, it took him a while to make his way to the NBA, but he has shown he belongs. Guy's pretty mobile for his size, a really solid rebounder, good rim runner off the pick and roll. Lot to like about him. Barnes outside. Screen by Smith. Barnes dishes to with it. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. Of course, they say that one of the toughest things about calling a game is balancing your basketball knowledge with energy. And I'm back What's out. Your approach with that? Do I get back in again? It's all right. I'm getting a little more playing time. And here are the Mavericks now. They've only allowed five points in the quarter. And following this game, they'll challenge the Grizzlies on the road oh, to the FedEx Forum in Memphis. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. And here we can now take a look at how the ratio was between the threes and the twos last season for Boston. And the three-pointer was their preferred weapon. It, it can be a risky strategy, but it's one that more and more teams have embraced over the years. Here's Wells. Kept alive by Boston. Hayward kicks to Wells. The basket good off the assist from Hayward. All right, Shammy. And it's now six points for Shammy Wells. And that one's good. Uh, okay. And the Mavericks lead by 12. Well, six foot eleven, Nerlens Noel, so efficient down deep, working his magic thanks to that great size. Here's Irving, and again it's Boston converting. Boy, you can't pin mm. their struggles today on him. He's been on fire from the field. Farrell passes to Noel. Back to Farrell. Barnes, right side. Let's the three fly. It's good from long range. Crap, man. Barnes has got the hey, lead up to 13 now for the man. Bringing that three point percentage up quite a bit this quarter, shooting it well. The lead's going to get a little bit bigger if they can keep this up. Here's the screen. Off the screen. And it's Boston with another. There we go. And a lot of teams avoid good screen, the big good jumper, but they seem to be using it well. Mavericks leading by 11. Here's Farrell. He has five. And again, it's Barnes with a three. God damn, Barnes man. A pair of triples in the second now for the man. Irving passes to the monster. Celtics passing it around. And sticking right with more. it gets the foul Tough with the bucket. Good. And he'll go to the line. And Tatum is all about doing what's best for the team. Superb as a ball mover in terms of finding ah. his teammate. And the Mavericks Very are a change here. Withy's checked in. Farrell kicks to Nowitzki. Feeds to Barnes. There's the pick. Not that time. It's off. Now shooting 7 of 10 from the floor. Pass to the monster. The basket good off the assist right. from Hayward. 
The Monsters got his third bucket of the night. Well, this is what you hope for from your franchise guy. Total unselfishness. Gordon Hayward franchise with a pretty guy. look. Who's that, Kennedy? Okay, I guess it is. Barnes Not me. Hayward. The turnaround. Oh, no. Shot opportunity and oh, God. Shot got him on the way Damn it. Time, so he'll shoot two right here. <laughs> the Mavericks have had two chances at the line already, that making them both. Guy with that two pay get by me. That is a bad team. rug there, man. At the line across Ooh, my the board, mind, man. Look at that. Gotta get rid of that beard, man. I think I'll get rid of the beard next time. I don't know if I can change the beard color or not. And that one misses. And if there's one weakness for the Celtics, it's rebounding. Last season, Doris, one of the five worst teams by rebound rate. Right. They're, they're not worried about their offensive rebound rate, Kev. They want to get back in transition. But to me, it's the second chance points for their opponents where they need to be better. Well, you think about the Dallas Mavericks, who ended up being a middling defensive team. Despite get it, get it. Really yes. All right. We got lucky. And you got to give them luck. credit, right? A conservative EA team. They genius. protect the paint and force opponents to shoot from the outside. Looking to end his cold spell. Unable to get that one. Now the Celtics take it the other way. They get it again. Wells dishes to Tatum. And a missed late. That's nice technique on the glass. <coughs> you leverage your position and your size to pull that in. Here's Farrell. He's covered by Irving. Farrell passes to Barnes. There's the pick. Here's Nowitzki. Loses the defender with the screen and drills the jumper. Nowitzki's got eight points. Well, Dirk has just made so many mid-range jumpers. When he gets room to fire, he's golden. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks. Their lead at 11 points to All win right, the quarter. time. We're down by 11. <clears throat> Thanks, Kevin. Harrison and a fairly first decent half. half. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. Let's look at my stats. Eight points, four rebounds, no assists, no steals. I want to take advantage of him playing through. Okay. Yeah, get SD the ball inside. Let him do good, good work if the defense helps me. The last time he told me this stuff, they didn't even play me in the second half. Now it's been a one -sided affair Let's go. So far through the first I got to get rid of that beard. All right, I'm in. in. And it's the third quarter. Matthews comes in for Seth Curry. And Smith subbed in for Yogi Ferrell. Smith Jr. runs the point with Matthews at his side. They're the backcourt. Jeff Withy is out there with measure, and it's Barnes and at the three spot. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Here's Matthews, and he could get out of here. One to go. A lot of contact. Wasn't my foul. Go to the line for two. That's on you foul for, man. I think I had a block. Incredible job by Matthews, seeking contact on his way, trying to get the call and does. Well, you look back on the signing guys of Wesley Matthews oh, maybe in not. Dallas. Four years, $70 million for a player coming off an Achilles tear. This is an injury that has ruined many a career. That was a huge gamble for the Mavericks. And Matthews coming back from the Achilles tear to start opening night less than eight months later. <laughs> Such an accomplishment. Mind over matter. No, it really is. And still working to get back to the level he showed before the injury. But I love his passion for the game. Get it. Gosh, for greatness. Don't bet against Mr. Matthews. Mm. It's a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Kevin, Rick Carlisle is one of the most respected head coaches in the league, especially for his X's and O's. That's a block. But Oh, come on, man. For Carlisle, praised his disposition. He's never up and never down, kid said. There's no panic in him. He gives you that sense of security to go out there and make a play. Kevin? I love Coach Carlisle, DA. And even well, probably smart and found me since I can't shoot foul shots. Doris, you've spent so much time Freaking observing the elite coaches in the game. Which ones are able to get the most out of their players? On come on. Oh, season. come on. I thought I had that. Is the job that Rick Carlisle does year in and year out with the Dallas Mavericks. That's good. There have been come on. Where there we go. You think that they're not a playoff team, but somehow he takes a Seth Curry, not Steph Curry, a Seth Curry, and sees his strengths and is able to get Seth 
to utilize the strengths that he has in that particular year to get the best out of them and maybe make a better season. The other thing, you think 2011 NBA championship versus the Miami Heat. From a talent standpoint, you might say... Oh, crap, man. Just the edge or put the shit equal. up there right on certainly the coaching of Rick you open? made a difference. Kind of totally tested there. This is the Barnes, and stolen by Tatum. The feed now to Wells. It's good from long range. All right. Wells has got his third basket of the night right there. And then how about that floor awareness there from Tatum? It does a good job of scanning the court and getting the ball to the open man. Barnes outside. They set the screen. Back to Smith. It's in basket number six for him thus far. He has only missed mm, two shots. Trying to get over to help. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Wells kicks to Morris. Pass to Tatum. To the paint. Here's Rozier. There's the pass to the monster. The rebound ah. by Withy. Withy's got his third rebound in this one. Wells with the steal. And now Wells pushing it. Go, Shammy. Put it down. Count right. Wells has got five points now in the quarter. And Wells covers a lot of ground quickly. Phenomenal at running in transition and then capitalizing. Get, some, the get in this action, man. Presented by Under Armour, showing us the fantastic steal that led to that fast break finish. Another unleashed chaos moment. Here's Barnes. And that one drained from the low block. Barnes has got 26 points. Ran away from it. As aggressive from outside as they were in the first half, sticking to the high percentage shots, playing smart with the lead. So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. Well, obviously a notable improvement for the Boston Celtics last season on the offensive end. Go. Yeah, there's one. All right. Pretty much up across the board. And when you look at the offensive improvement for the Celtics Doris last season, what do you attribute that to? Oh, come on. I thought that was good. And what do I know, man? Second on the team in assists. And he is also an excellent shooter. So he was able to affect winning with both his passing and his scoring ability. Wells kicks to Irving. That's in. He's All right. 7 for 12 now in the game. And so far, going for more of an inside presence here in the second half, getting away from the three-point shot. Irving against Smith. Here's the floater. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. I love how hard Smith... I'm out. All right. And I'm back. There's 38 seconds hey, we're up by 10. Quarter. What the hell? 35 the seconds right left. For the Celtics. Smart and Brown outside on the wings. Then there's the monster. And it's Rozier in at the point guard. To the middle. The 10-footer. And that one comes <laughs> up a bit short. <laughs> yeah, Maybe bad shot selection. Point, All right, whatever. Game's over, yeah, man. You got a better chance of How did we turn it around, man? With pork chop underwear on. <laughs> There's the pick, and so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. All right, we this win. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway Man. win, but one nil. Put back King, strong finishes, rebounds. Only had five rebounds, man. Blocks, had the block. Took some hard hits. He had a lot of screens. Free throws, made two of five, man. All right, we're getting there. We're getting up there. 70,000? Nope. Man, my fans didn't go up much. 10 points, five rebounds. One block, got an A minus. hungry, too, to be honest. Hey, I am, too. That's something new, though. Hey, what about Italian? Nah, that's too heavy. What about some Korean barbecue? So Italian's too heavy, but you want barbecue? Korean barbecue. What's the difference? You gotta cook the meat yourself on a little grill, and then they also give you cabbage. So why would I pay to do the work? 
about soul food? Now you're talking, boo boo. Hey, fellas, can I talk to you before you head in town? And look, we got a brutal stretch coming up against some really good teams. No complacency. Let's get ahead and stay ahead. If we fall behind now, we'll be swimming up river for the rest of the season. Cool? Cool? Cool. <laughs> you fellas enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks, coach. Thank you. Awesome. YOLO. Uh, yeah. Just do what you think it's right. So you want to get some sushi? Y'all didn't just see him do YOLO? Who still says YOLO? Yeah, we're taking on the heat. Let's go. And you've got it on 2K Sports for Wednesday night action in the NBA. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Brent Berry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Looking at Boston, they Let's go. the win in their last game against the Dallas Mavericks. And we all know in a hostile environment, always tough, but... Right off the bat, we're already all right, seeing several big-name rookies struggle a little whoops. bit. Talk about the adjustment going from being the star player, the guy on your college team, to becoming, initially at least, a contributor in the NBA. I, I think it's difficult, the mental adjustment for a player to come to practice and, and do all the things to prepare for a practice and then work extra either before or after practice, Kevin, and then go to a game, put on your uniform, and sit. And it's just not something that they're used to. They haven't done it for not 10, natural, right. oh, yeah, oh, 10 or 12 me. years. And so it's important to have three things at that point, Kevin. One, a coach right, that continues go. to tell you what you need to work on. Two, an assistant coach that works with you daily on the things that the coach has told you about. And the last part is having a veteran guy as a mentor. That can be extremely important in you keeping your confidence and the idea of be ready, stay ready when your opportunity presents itself. Molinick, he's checked in for Goran Dragic. Here's the monster, and Whiteside sends it back. As soon as uh -oh. Whiteside positions himself, he That's just swipes that one away. It's like he's playing beach volleyball. Waiters outside. Come on. Linslow kicks to Johnson. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Well, I wonder who's going to get this. Jump ball. So it's Miami now. Olenek dishes to Johnson. Back to Olenek. Now the feed to Johnson. Whiteside sets the pick for Waiters. Five on the clock. Let's the three fly. That one, no good. Now the Celtics get the take board, the other way. Kept him uh, team's it. rebounding is a great measure of its energy, and theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. Left side, Irving. Put it up. And there's the three second God violation. dang it. Try to get out. Just a moment to look back at how things were last season for this team as we look at the shot breakdown for the Heat. And no doubt they relied upon that three-point shot to provide a big chunk of their scoring now, that's been a trend in the modern nba and and they took that philosophy and, and ran with it and the heat making a change here ellington's checked in the celtics also changing it up tatum he's checked in for hayward wells comes in for smart and it's rogier in for irving and that's how to make an impact right, what does that mean does that, that mean i'm cold what does that mean going to be scattered well and now it's gone so i don't know whatever that means under armor Another unleashed chaos moment. One of the more exciting plays in basketball. No, God dang it! And the basket by Olenek. And really, the improvement as a finisher is noticeable for Kelly Olenek. Now here's Wells. Ellington defending. Offensive rebound, Celtics. No good for the monster. God. Oh, and the D did not make that any <clears throat> easier. Can't fault the shooter for missing. That's a tough shot. He goes up again. His second shot goes in. I, didn't, I wasn't even two there. Two. Often How could I allow the board? On the wing, but Olenek seizing the opportunity to go inside and dig out. All right. Possession. What a play two there, points, though. at least, Plus and one. The Celtics shooting their first free throw of the night. 
Free throw good from the monster. Was that a swish? Miami I got a swish. Johnson kicks to Winslow. Now here's Ellington. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. Master Olinick, he dishes it to Johnson. Just five on the clock. Pulls it from 20. The rebound by the Celtics. They went to Miami for their last meeting with the Heat and came out with a win. Yeah, really ratcheted up the pressure in their last matchup, getting steals and just creating havoc defensively. The turnover margin was well within their favor, and you have to point to that ferocious D they played as the I didn't pass that. in that win. And the oh, ball goes okay. out of bounds. Last touch by Johnson. I didn't hit the pass button. Or maybe I did. I don't know. All right. Who do I want to give this to? Here's Rozier. Ellington grabs the miss. And you know what? You can't get, a get that offensive Freeze rebound just so you could do that shit. But he just fails to capitalize. Oh, man. He'd love to have that one back. He just does everything right. But Let's go, Shammy. And you look back to that big three here in Boston. You know, the Celtics have not been shy about aggressively trading to reshape this roster. You know, they've made a rapid rebuild that's really the envy of a lot of teams around our league. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Rozier. Again, oh. missed by the Celtics. Rozier's gone one of three from the field here. Here's Johnson. And it's Johnson again missing. The Heat, their last game, a loss to Indiana. And they had a ton of missed opportunities at the foul line. That, that's always a game changer. Well, nine times out of ten, if you can't take advantage of the freebies at this level, the ah. outcome is not going to be in your favor. The Heat shooting only around 32% so far in this one. The offense looking a bit off kilter. Passes it to Ellington. Johnson the screen. They set the pick. Raiders against Morris. Olenek, chance there to take the lead, missing. Boston All right. shooting just 26 percent. Should have scored on me, but he didn't. Tatum wide open, he fires one, and the three ball is good. And Tatum's become a reliable outside shooter. It has a good-looking stroke from deep. Johnson kicks to Olenek. Waiters outside, screened by Olenek. Good ball movement here by Miami. Johnson, that's for two, and he gets the jumper to drop. Johnson's got his first bucket in this one. Johnson timing that catch and shoot perfectly. He gave the D no chance to get to him. Rozier, the pass to the monster. On the wing, Morris. Kicks to Tatum. Wells in the corner. Pass to the monster. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That one on Olenek. For Boston, they have made their only other free throw attempt today in an earlier trip to the line. That's good from the monster. Both teams deciding to change it up. All right. Both free throws All right. from Made the monster. Both. That's solid. It's five points. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. It's the Celtics. They're All up right. by three. The second quarter coming up right after this break, so don't go anywhere. to this point a closely contested game as we start the second quarter and what do you guys think about Boston here in this one they're just not sitting back they are going for steals and their activity has been terrific yeah so that disruption is helping out because it's leading to some easy chances on the other end and now brought to you by Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go let's reset our lineups on the court right now for the Celtics put it up out there with Tatum all right and there's the monster then there's Wells, and it's Rozier in at the point guard. And the skills of Brown, not just a super athlete, but a tremendous floor general as well. 
Winslow kicks to Johnson. Johnson the screen. At Joe Linick. He feeds it to Ellington. Four on the clock. Dishes it to Johnson. Oh, are you kidding me? Get another chance. Now the pass to Olenek. Ellington with it. Now guarded by Wells. Screen by Olenek. Johnson kicks to Olenek. Johnson outside. Now the dish to Winslow. No good on the triple. And that's a rare right. sight. Usually shooters make the defense pay when they're that lackadaisical. Justice right. Winslow, the Duke product, can nice give you play. a lot on the wing. The questions are what he can do consistently offensively, but you know he's a very good team player on both ends of the floor. Feeds it to Johnson. He kicks it to Ellington. Mickey passes to Winslow. The Heat need to get a shot off. Ellington from outside. Sinks it. What wow. lead from outside. Wow. Ellington's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Time Let's call go. here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Brent Winslow definitely a plush defender, and that's one of the strengths of his game. Well, what I like about his defense is certainly there's a foundation. And here are the Heat now, trailing by four. Waiters against Irving, and Waiters kicks to Mickey. Great defense that time from the Monster. Like the tactics on defense there, refusing to give the shooter the easy layup at the rim. Hits it All from right. three-point range. That's a great by seven. Let's keep from pressure. Kyrie Irving, especially on the deep shot where he can be deadly. On the wing, Winslow. Back to Dragic. Pass to Mickey. Some solid defense from the Monster. Ooh. Just tentative in the paint. Lacking a little bit of confidence allowed the defender to recover and contest that shot. And here's a look oh. at the stats for Waiters. How his last 10 games have gone. He's around 14 points per game, four assists, and three All right, rounds. we got shooting two. Really Listen, I'm getting points on the free throw he's line at least. Big plays here recently. I think you look across the board right now, and he's just doing a much better job. The numbers bear that out. The first one go. Falls. We've seen the shift in offensive strategy. Brent, more threes, more spacing. Better flow, opening up driving lanes and opportunities to make at least one All right, quick we got move, move to the basket. What have defenses seven been doing seven on the rebounds. other side trying to counteract those trends? I think the biggest trend that you see, Kevin, is the switching defenses. So many rosters now constructed of guys who have the ability to get off oh, the screen kidding. and to pick up a perimeter player. And that's not for 24 seconds, but five or six seconds being able to contain dribble penetration and challenge deep threes. So the switching aspect of NBA defense, that is a trend. Here's Rozier. Get out. And it's oh, going to be a freaking pain. Dang it. The 2K leaderboard to look at the teams that try and I try to get out of the paint. They won't let me get out. The heat in second. I mean, terrific rim protection. I mean, they rotate and help on the inside as well as anybody. And of course, you want to keep offenses on the outside shooting jump shots. And that continues to be the goal. Olenek is checked in for the heat. Here's Ellington. That's in. He's got two made now. Hmm. And he's shooting two for three. Celtics leading by four, and let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, guys, Miami's Eric Spolstra is known for his focus and his devotion to work. How does he stay centered? Stay! He said, That's I like mine. it because you have to keep your eyes on your own mat. Pick and you're not roll. focused on the spot in front of you, you'll fall over. Kevin, that mindfulness translates across the board. Mindfulness, that's an interesting way to look at things, D.A. Spo is a great, great communicator. Knows how to certainly get through to his team. Mickey kicks to Ellington. The feed to Waiters. Shoots the three. The shot comes out, and the Celtics going the other way now. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. 
They'll be hosting Orlando for the next one. That game will be a quick pitch stop before uh, hitting the road again. And out of bounds as the Heat gain possession. That was a heat ball. He knocked it out. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. You look at Boston, third best record here in the early going. And, of course, the Heat, six games out. And I think for Boston, they look like a team on a mission. We knew coming into this season that they were going to be one of the teams to beat. They've done nothing to change anyone's mind about that. The only people whose minds have changed are the people who said they were going to have a down year. There is no one left saying that. You watch the Heat play, you watch their young athletes, and you think about the conditioning of all of their players. Allegedly, they have one of the toughest practice regiments in the league. I don't think guys get too fired up about their training camps, but certainly pays off throughout the course of the season. Well, they depend on him to score, and that doesn't mean just from the field. Sometimes it comes from the charity strike. Smart passes to the monster. Nice ball movement by Boston. Rebound by <sighs> Winnick's got his third rebound on the night. If they can just hold this now for the last shot. Right. No need to give the ball back here. Run the clock down. Be patient and run a decent play. Waiters outside. Again, the miss by the Heat. And a pretty tightly congested game here as we end the first half. Okay. Celtics lead by... Thanks a lot. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. Well, let's see our halftime scores. Stats here. Nine points, eight rebounds. 100% from the free throw line. That's where most of my points have come from. So get SD the ball and let him go to work on the perimeter. You have the green light. All right. And now the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. You know, guys, Jason T. Good getting ready for Miami. Kelly Olenix checked in for Whiteside. Winslow comes in for Jordan Mickey. Wayne Ellington's checked in for Johnson. And it's Tyler Johnson in for Goran Dragic. Tyler Johnson is out there with Wayne Ellington. And it's Justice Winslow. Then it's Olenek. And it's Waiters in at the threesome. That's the group on the floor for Miami. Back to Winslow. Johnson for three. And Tatum pulls it down. Uh, just not his night so far, guys. He dishes it to Wells. Irving for three. Nailed from three-point land. Irving's got five points now this quarter. Uh, such a remarkable score. Kyrie has such a quick trigger. The D has no chance there. Now here's Ellington. Defense is right there. Johnson with a screen on Brown. And he ain't shooting Passes threes. to Johnson beyond the arc. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Yeah, his shot just doesn't seem to be synced up right now. Here's hoping he finds it soon because his team is really going to need that production tonight. Brown outside. Kicks it to Tatum. Pass to the monster. Molinic with the steal. Frick. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Ellington leading the charge. He feeds it to Olenek on the wing, Johnson. And the slam dunk by Johnson. And Johnson can certainly Freak. leap up for dunks bad. like that. Gotta respect his athleticism. My bad. Let him get by the pick. Batting Irving cup. kicks to Tatum. Over in the corner, Brown. Over Waiters. Rebound by Olenek. Olenek's got Man, his fifth too rebound far in this one. The basket. Johnson, wide open, he fires. Again, Johnson missing. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. I didn't... <laughs> Okay, that was my bad. I didn't even do anything, but I didn't get a pass. That was a bad. Lays it up off the glass. Now it's a six point Miami lead. And you gotta let's go. Come on, Kyrie, lead us. 
watching Jason Tatum, it's, it's hard to find many faults in his game, Greg. He's strong inside and out and plays both ends of the floor equally well. Yeah, kind of a, a jack of all trades, right, and master of none. He, he, he does everything reasonably well on the basketball floor, just doesn't do anything great. Having said that, though, Tatum is one of those guys that I think improves the overall IQ of all right, your Shammy. team. And, Good bucket. At his position. Mickey's checked in for Wayne Ellington. Waiters dishes to Johnson. The pass to Olenek. Winslow kicks to Olenek. Screen by Olenek. Waiters gets a wide open look. Off the mark there with the three point shot. Tatum passes to Wells. Here's the monster. In the corner, Tatum with it. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. And checking out the stats for Johnson. How's the last month of basketball been for him? Averaging 13 points per game, three assists, and three rebounds. And he's really been pulling his weight. He's had a hand in some big plays here recently. I think you look across the board right now, and he's just doing a much better job. The numbers bear that out. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. One thirty-five left here in the third quarter. Johnson's a very good defender if he uses that kind of speed, so he stayed right with his man. On the wing, Winslow. Back to Johnson. And Olenek kicks to Waiters. Heat moving the ball around. A three ball. And Olenek with the basket on the inside. Okay, I didn't think that guy would shoot him. And it's seven points for Kelly Olenek. Yeah, and when you've got a big man who can shoot from distance like that, what a huge advantage. Dishes it to Smart. They set the pick. Wells passes to the monster. And it's in there. The monster's got a lot of points. And not relying at all on the three point shot. Uh, they may want to rethink about stretching the defense a bit like they did in that first half. Waiters outside. There's the dish to Johnson. Winslow wide open. He fires. That's good. And Johnson with the assist. Johnson's got four assists in the game. Celtics trail by eight. Smart kicks to Tatum. Here's the monster. Olinick is covering. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Celtics have made seven out of nine when they've stepped to the line. He misses the first. Ah, that was off. A different look for Miami. The first miss. Right side comes in for Olenek, and it's Drogic in for Justice Winslow. Gordon Hayward's checked in for Boston. There we go. And he sinks the second. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. And here is Johnson. He has six. Right side, a screen on Hayward. Johnson with it. Three on the clock. Right side, a screen. Haters for three. Misses. And we've watched three so far in this All right, in the third. It's the Heat up by seven. Back after this from the American Airlines Arena. Now they keep showing that Olenek blocking my shot from the first quarter. They don't need to show that anymore. And meanwhile, Coach Brad Stevens talking to his team. Hey, bottom line is, good things are going to happen, bad things are going to happen. All right, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So it's the Boston Celtics with the W. And I didn't get back in the fourth quarter. This building was dead silent by the time. Okay, well, that's all right. I got to end this thing anyway. It's going to be a long episode as it is. Strong finishes, rebounds, eight. Well defended plays. Blocks, one. Good screens, five. Free throw, six or seven. Not bad for me. Pick dodges, pick uh, dire shots, win bonus. Yeah. Okay.
more than just all right. Man, I gotta thank myself for that. Oh, okay. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> that is what I'm talking about. Good game out there. That's exactly what we've been talking about, right? Mm -hmm. Look, everybody loves the FGAs. The shots are sexy, but you can affect the game with your energy and your effort. Just like we've been talking about. If you don't get the ball enough, don't whine about it. You gotta get up there and you gotta get the ball off the glass. Mm. That type of work right there will get you more minutes. I'm supposed to. Hey, don't fall for that, though. What? I mean, you got to get your shots up, too. Rain, sleet, or snow, dogs got to eat. If you feel like you're not getting your shots, you better pull your phone out and be like, Hello, <laughs> where my shots at? Well, excuse me, but I have a very well-rounded ah, game. Yeah, Thank whatever. You All I'm much. saying is, when's the last time you seen a dude get a max contract for rebound? Garnett. Yeah, to go along with that 22 a game and that mean stare he had. Whatever, that was 1997. What were you, like, negative one years old? Yeah, about that. Look. All I'm saying is assists and rebounds are cute and all, but a grown boy's got to get his shots up. Oh, so when you going to get yours up? Oh, <laughs> okay, Rook got jokes. <laughs> all right. Got Rook got jokes. All right. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, if you like the episode, leave a like. If you haven't uh, let's take the phone call first. Let's, let's see what's up. Brian. Uh, do you just wrap us here in my office? Come by when you're ready. On my way. And that's going to happen the next time we play. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time on a new plays NBA 2K18. Thanks.